So I found the skill book for tactics and it taught me things. And it only took like reloading the same dungeon four times to change the drops to what I want them to be too. So TLDR on this thing, it's about 2500 years old. No one is certain about the exact translation since it was written before punctuation was implemented into classical Chinese. And some of the parts have been completely lost to time. Also, we're not even sure who wrote this thing in what century. What's for certain is that this book contains many great teachings about war and tactics, and that's made it into one of the oldest surviving writings in the world. I'm starting a new series here that's a little more advanced than leadership tactics, and will be a lot more abstract too. That means you won't be able to directly apply these things immediately to your platoons and planet side too, so be patient and learn. I won't be doing all the teachings or doing them in order either, or even doing the entire chapter because some parts just don't apply to the game. And some chapters are a little easier to apply to Planet Side 2 than others. Great, now I don't ever have to do that again for the next episodes. Let's get into this. In waging war, victory is surprised, but if delayed, both troops and weapons are blunted. Besieging a city exhausts your strengths, a protracted campaign depletes your state's resources. So what exactly does that mean to us? Well. The first part is pretty straightforward. If you take too long to capture a base, your forces will be demoralized and weakened. An example of this would be the bit about besieging cities and protracted campaigns. We don't have to delve too deep into our cert grinds to figure out that that means that when you're fighting for a long time in a biolab trying to capture it, or maybe a hard to reach installment, not only does it take a lot of time that you could be doing something else more effective somewhere else on the map, but it uses up the people in your squad. Not just in a resource way, since after a year of playing I can count on one hand how many times I've been starved of resources, but in how it discourages the people you're playing with. After long, hard assaults with little or no progress, people are going to give up and leave your squad and go try their luck somewhere else. And when this happens, the force you brought gets weaker and weaker until you're laughed off the battlefield. Sun Tzu goes on to say in the matter of timing in your combat, Thus, although I have heard of reckless haste in war, I have never seen wise delay, nor has any state benefited from prolonging war. Again, not exactly a hard one to decipher and apply to Planet Side 2. Messing around at your staging ground has never been a good idea because all you're doing is giving the enemy time to prepare and set up some good kill zones for your forces to stroll into. The state and the empire you fight for are one and the same, and has your squad ever benefited from extending a fight longer than is necessary, and not in a cert grinding way. Cert grinding isn't a campaign. That's an agreed thing between two factions, whether it be stated or not, that the both of you are going to keep the fight in a stalemate until both of you have had an adequate amount of time to grind up some certs for more unlocks. Great, we got that out of the way really fast. When you extend a campaign to take over a continent, you're also depriving allied forces of reinforcements that are needed elsewhere on the map and potentially fostering an enemy zerg by allowing it to grow without anything big enough to stop it from being around. That doesn't mean charged into areas without preparing at all, but make sure that no time is wasted when you're getting ready to advance. At the moment, that's all this chapter that really applies to Planet Side 2, since the supply system doesn't have any means of stealing your enemy's resources and using them in place of expending your own. But it's hinted that that may be changed in the near future, or possibly the far future, and if it does, we'll revisit this chapter and go over the rest of it. This is one of the shorter chapters in Art of War, and a little on the simple side too. Next week, we'll look at another chapter and see what we can apply to our platoons we run in Planet Side 2. Until next time, Araxians.